What's going on guys, the Strong Boys 19 here. So this is Holy Block Fest number 11. And I just thought I would do another one of these videos. And I know that I did promise you guys that for future vlogs I'll be filming myself at different places and uh, use my camera for my phone. But I just decided to randomly make this video with this uh, crappy quality looking webcam. So I thought I would say that some things that I want to address on what I've been doing. Recently I have been going through some some rough times from my work as a guitarist because I've been going through a repetitive strain injury from my wrist and my uh, my picking hand has lost its um, comfortable uh, placement on the strings and it makes my rhythm and sort of play more difficult because of my uh, my injuries. But thankfully, I had been taking medication, tablets, and uh, the pain has been soothing away much, um, much faster. And uh, it's been going really, really well. And uh, I'm not done with uh, the medication yet. But once my hands will be, uh, you know, back to its normal um, self, it's going to be great again. Now, wearing this really cool Arabantus t shirt. And you can order this from the band's website, hopefully. Really cool design. I managed to pre-order this t-shirt um, before the shirt came out officially. So music-wise, I have been going through um, a phase of listening to more ambient and electronic pieces of music. And speaking of that, I've been going back to one of my top three favorite German bands of all time, Tangerine Dream. And I've listened to this album um, a few hours ago. This is Logos, Tangerine Dream Live 1982. And uh, it still sounds absolutely amazing. And I've been listening to Phaedra and I've been going through um, some more albums from Tangerine Dream, I've listened to Atom, which is really, really great, uh, brilliant album, which is the uh, the predecessor to Phaedra, and I am so looking forward to listen to uh, Zeit. That album, for me, sounds really, really intriguing and interesting for me. And uh, I've been going back to Brian Eno again. I've played this album all the way through a few days ago. This is Another Green World. I apologize for the really bad lighting, but I just think that Eno as a musician, not just an ambient godfather, but as a musician, he still inspires me so much. And also, I have purchased this amazing Korg Volca Keys synthesizer. It runs on six batteries, but I have purchased a um, an AC adapter to plug in uh, to the synthesizer on that um, nine volt plugging. And uh, I've been going through some amazing um, pieces of sounds and some music with this. And I have been going through a, a different project for my uh, change and direction of music, but that's not going to uh, take over and let my um, acoustic and electric guitar rock folky stuff disappear. That's not going to happen. But uh, I just thought it would be great to uh, experiment and have a go at uh, a different instrument since like one of my favorite musicians of all time and first influences Pete Townsend had been experimenting not only with his rock music but through uh, synthesizers and uh, different uh, different sounds and everything and this is just uh, just really really cool So <laughs> I've been experimenting a lot with this, uh, made some 
um, noises and just having a go and see what this awesome piece of equipment um, has in store for me. So that's that. Um, speaking of electronic music, I've been revisiting Kraftwerk a lot. And uh, remember when I said to you guys my thoughts, first thoughts on their very underrated album, Techno Pop? I really got to love it right now. I think it's an underrated classic. I know it was not a strong follow up to Computer World, but I'm just really surprised that some people cited that album, Techno Pop, as their best album. Um, well, I think simplicity can be more of a, a better direction than listening to these complicated, experimental, really um, fascinating stuff, which is still amazing to listen to, don't get me wrong, but um, I really got to understand, um, play the album on repeat and appreciate techno pop a lot more, so Sex Object grew on me, and um, you know, Boing Boom Chak, Electric Cafe, which is my favourite song on the record, the uh, the telephone call. I prefer the original version of the telephone call than the remastered version. Um, Techno pop, amazing track. So I think simplicity works. Um, I'd say so well with Kraftwerk, and I will be reviewing Trans Europe Express, and also I'm going to be seeing Wolfgang Fleur the ex-member of Kraftwerk for the second time uh, at the Blue Orange Theatre um, on the 10th of March. So I'm really excited about that. And uh, yeah, that is pretty much all I wanted to say. And let's just hope that this month um, from its continuation and I hope the rest of 2018 will be uh, more different and better than what we went through in 2017. So, yeah, that's a wrap, <laughs> I guess you could say. And I promise you guys that in the 12th vlog, I will be um, filming myself in random places, as I said from the beginning of the video. And um, I am going to do more album reviews, and I will be going back to Cryptopsy. Since I haven't done that band for a long time, got three more albums to review uh, from their discography. And let's just see what my thoughts are on those albums. And I'm going to stop. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching, and I'll keep you guys posted for more videos in the near future.